Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. The last three prophets in the section of the Bible known as, you know, the prophets, and the very end of the Old Testament. Three of them were the post-exilic prophets, which means they came after the Israelites came home from their exile in Babylon. Who were they? First up, we have Haggai. Haggai is unusual among the prophets. I know we have one of those pretty much every week, in that his book is just history. There is no poetry in Haggai. Haggai and Zechariah worked together on one big goal. That goal was to finish reconstructing the temple to God. And that may be why God chose Haggai, whose name means Festival of the Lord. Haggai's efforts went well rewarded, and people did finish the temple. Zechariah was an apocalyptic, a book that revealed a secret. What was the secret? What the life of the Messiah, Jesus, would be like. It goes hand in hand with Isaiah in showing us a detailed picture of Jesus' life, 500 years before Jesus was even born. Zechariah was a priest and a prophet, working in Jerusalem alongside Haggai. Malachi was the last prophet in the Old Testament. He called for repentance, for Israel to say sorry for their sins. After the temple had been completed in the time of Haggai and Zechariah, things didn't magically get better, and some of the Israelites began to question whether God was really protecting them. Malachi was there to tell them that yes, yes he was, and he still wanted them to live good and upright lives. Be loyal to God, because God was loyal to his people. Malachi's name meant the Lord's Messenger. Altogether, these three prophets paint us two pictures. The first picture is that of the coming Messiah, a Messiah, a savior that would arrive four centuries after Malachi had finally finished his ministry. The second is coming back to God. Haggai and Zechariah encouraged God's people to rebuild the temple, to reconnect with God, just like we can rebuild our connection when we stumble. And Malachi encouraged them to repent, turning their hearts back to God, and reminds us to do the same.